other people's networking events. So that was my first event. I remember it just like it was yesterday. I was in Boston Library, 2010, and the event was with MPI, a meeting professional international, so I studied at the time events, hospitality. And I remember I couldn't even afford the ticket. It was $80. Somehow sneak through a life changing. There was a bunch of CEOs. It was the right room. It was best professionals in the industry. You know, I had to find a way to connect with the right people and even to find a way how to serve them. And be mindful, out of my class, out of 30 people, only two people showed up to this event. And, you know, how often do we show up for, us, for ourselves, really? Sometimes we think it's not a big deal and we don't go. But 80% of success is showing up. Have, you know, hands to the camera. Have you heard, heard that before? 80% of success is showing up. So you got to show up for yourself and you got to show up and, and, and meet those professionals. So what happened to me, I met the woman um, a director at the time of a Newport Yachting Center, uh, some of you are from Rhode Island. I got an internship from my first ever networking event. Why? Because I was open-minded because I talked to the right person against all the odds. I showed up when someone gave me a business card of that woman, it felt like someone gave me a thousand dollars at that time. I was like, Oh my God, this is my golden chance. I'm going to like do so well. What happened next? I had to follow up. And what I did, I had to Google the best ways to follow up by email after a networking event. I spent three hours crafting my first email. And how many of you guys, you know, double check and make sure that your email is perfect. And sometimes we skip that. Sometimes we don't really look at our grammar. You know, first impression is so important because it can be super lasting. So I Googled for three hours and I crafted the email. I got it. You know, that was an epiphany for me. I showed up to the room of other people's, you know, work. They just put it together for me. And I showed up and I made sure I followed up professional email. And I think you can do it. I think anybody can do it. You just jump in the car and go to an event. How many of you had one person who could change your life? You met them at the event. You know, have you had that before? You met one partner that altered the way of your career or you got that dream job or you got that amazing advice. Just one person could make the whole difference. Fast forward, I switched to real estate and I remember my first real estate event. I felt like I'm a fish without a water because I didn't know what to do and what to say. It was actually Black Diamond in Worcester, Massachusetts in 2015. It was, it was crazy, but right then I got offered the chance to uh, bird dog. You guys are familiar with, with this term, bird dog. So I was able to actually help someone to look for deals. And I was connected to, to this person. And you guys know this person, Nick Arlut. You Nick Arlut, who used to run Black Diamond, Mitch, Mitch uh, Walter, you guys know this guy. Other people's networking events are great to start. And you can find them on Facebook events, meetups, like Jennifer dropped in the chat, LinkedIn, great places to look for. One advice I would give you about other people's networking events is come early, leave late, and meet hosts. Meet the host like Walter did one day. He was showing up to Boston Rio early, like the first one person, the first person to show up and the last person to live. You know what happened? He now is the host for Boston Rio. He's been uh, running Boston Rio for now over a year because he showed attention. He helped. He added value. It was just in the universe that, you know, the law of boomerang it came back to him. And that beautiful result of him now being seen and helping the community grow. And while at the event, listen to, to other people and you know, ask the question, what is your story? You know, it's the most, it's the most uh, uh, favorite topic of each person to talk about who themselves. So what about you? Tell me your story. And you're not asking, what do you do for business? You're not really asking like, you know, what's your business? What, you know, what do you do? It's like, what's your story? Let them decide what they want to share with you. Maybe they don't want to talk about the business. They, they want to talk about 
how they got here. Oh, my friend just invited me or I was blown away by the marketing and I needed to be here. And what I do is this is to finish off uh, this particular subject of other people's events. Now, imagine you collected a bunch of cards. What do you do? Like, what do you do with this card? Do you throw them away? Do you type each person's name into your spreadsheet? Email them like, okay. So here's a couple of tips how to do it. When you take a card, make sure on the back of the card, you make a little note. A little note, carry a pen, like bold, red jacket, I know, fall river, weird glasses, nice suit, blue shirt, anything that you can memorize yourself with that person because it helps you tremendously. When no one else emails that person, but you do, and you say like, you know, it was nice meeting you. I know you're from fall river, where do you do? You will then... Take all of this card, you put them in front of you on the desktop, take a picture, send it to Fiverr, and the same day you'll get a spreadsheet of all the contacts that you can now email, add it to your CRM, or find them on Facebook. You know, leverage, don't, don't sit there and type one by one, that's, that's a waste of your time. But when you take a, script, take a picture, send it to a Fiverr or another, uh, another person who can help you put them quickly together, this is uh, gonna save you time and this is automation. Now, the second, the second thing, that's what Walter loves doing is getting a selfie with a person and text them that picture right away, right then. So the next day you can spend 30 minutes texting the same people, hey, it was nice meeting you and so on. And finally, you know, you guys have uh, seen some apps, you can scan the card, the card will be right in your contacts and you can, later on, go download the whole list of people and plug them into your CRM. So these are, these are the kind of like the way how you can quickly follow up after other people's events. And some people will fall off, but you will know who's, who's the key contact. Mm -hmm.